as we all know is a well known risk factor for kidney stones Emphaglophosin is an SGLT2 inhibitor and is a newer class of glucose lowering medication that has been shown to have significant heart and kidney benefits in patients with type 2 diabetes. Now these benefits were also seen in people with heart failure and chronic kidney disease without diabetes. Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and today I am going to talk about emphaglophosin which may decrease the risk of kidney stones. in people with diabetes we all know that emphaglophosin is the drug used along with diet and exercise and sometimes with various other medications to lower your blood sugar levels in people having type 2 diabetes it is also been used to reduce the risk of stroke heart attack or even death in people who have type 2 diabetes along with heart and blood vessel disease also emphaglophosin is used in adults with heart failure to reduce the risk of needing to be hospitalized and also death due to heart and blood vessel disease now this diabetes drug has been found to even decrease the risk of kidney stones in patients with type 2 diabetes the researchers used existing data from 20 randomized clinical trials to evaluate whether emphaglophosin reduced the risk of kidney stones and they pooled the data from close to 15000 people who had type 2 diabetes of these around 10177 received emphaglophosin and the remaining were in the placebo group patients took either emphaglophosin or a placebo for about 1 and 1/2 years The results of the study showed that when compared with placebo, treatment with emphaglophosin was associated with an approximate 40% reduced risk of kidney stones in type 2 diabetes. While the precise mechanism is still not known or rather unclear, the findings did mean that emphaglophosin may be used to prevent kidney stones in individuals with type 2 diabetes. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.